Thanks for coming. Well, Dave, how are you? It's been what, pretty crazy four days, wasn't it? Yeah, everything was good until Brooklyn. Uh, you know, last night was a bad night, but hopefully uh, we, we got we got our uh, we got it together now, and that doesn't happen again. Yeah. So I mean, let, let, let's touch on that. What, why, from your perspective, was it a bad night? Well, at one point, you know, Floyd's guys walked over to where uh, we were and all Connor's guys, you know, jumped in there. It was that close to turn it into a, a brawl on that stage. And I'm too old for that shit. What was that actually said between the teams? What's that? What was actually said between the teams? Lots of not nice things. <laughs> Lots racist? of mean stuff. Was it racism between the teams? Ah, oh, Jesus. Listen. What's going on right now between these guys is as much a part of the fight as the fight itself. These are two of the best to ever do it, physically and mentally and verbally. And you've seen that this week. They've been unbelievable, you know? And it has escalated every event because what happens is, just like in a fight, when you get hurt to the body, you try not to show that you get hurt to the body. When you get rocked, you try not to show that you got rocked. And they've both been rocked a couple times and tried to show, like, you know, not show it. Um, and the, um, the battle that's gone on between these guys has been epic. And, and it's always the media that wants to pump up the, you know, you know, oh, is this a fight? It's in the croquet game, you know, it's in a, a, a tennis match. The, the, these guys are gonna try to knock each other unconscious in a month and a half. I don't think there's too many mean things you can say that's worse than getting knocked unconscious, so. Daniel, what do you make of this, this whole race? Like, do you believe that things just been blowing up and I'm not of, of the what? Of, of this alleged race route, like McGregor's a racist. Yeah, so, so what, what happened was how this whole thing got started, as soon as we left LA, um, uh, Connor was saying to him, he had come over and he was dancing, and Connor started doing this. Yeah, dance for me, boy, dance for me. And that was how the whole, and then he said, the stripper thing, you got 50 strippers under your, uh, on your payroll. That's what he was talking about, he was treating him. And then Floyd came out yesterday, <laughs> apparently he was treating me and uh, Connor like strippers and throwing ones at us. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, no, I don't think that. So then the whole, everybody was talking about the racial thing, and then Connor came out and said, you know, what he said last night at, at the, uh, uh, in Brooklyn. You know, about, yeah, I'm, I'm half black from the belly button down. Um, so this, you know, it's just, this, this, is, this is what they do. I don't, I don't think that there's any racial, you know, he's being racist. He also called out 50 Cent last night and, you know, he's, he, he's got, listen, he's got 50 Cent talking about it and he's got Jay-Z talking about it. You know, he's, he's, he's dragged a lot of people into this thing. And uh, I think that the, uh, on both sides of this, it's been brilliant. I think they've both done. It's been incredible to watch. If, if you're truly a fan of combat sports and you truly know what's going on here, pretty damn good. Do you see Connor as having more chance as this has gone on of getting inside? This is Connor's game. This is what Connor does. Listen, Floyd hasn't been matched physically or verbally in, in boxing. Now he has. He's, he, the verbally he has, now we'll see what happens physically, you know? Because, um, like I said, if you, if you know about fighting, if you're a true fan and you know what's going on in fighting, I, I was talking about that idiot. Who's the idiot on ESPN? Neil Everett. What's a Neil Everett in the United States? I'm tired of this, this shtick and this shtick. It's not a shtick. This isn't shtick. This, this is, this is, this is uh, verbal combat at its finest. You don't see guys go at each other like this, intelligent, you know, trying to dig in there and, 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 and uh, find ways to, to, to mentally, you know, get in each other's heads. That's, that's, that's what these guys are doing, and, and, and these are two of the best to ever do it. It's been fascinating to watch. Thank you.